Something, something, something radio! Welcome to Something, Something, Something Radio. It's your host, you know who. Getting it done. Wait. Everybody say how to drink it. Hey, Love shout out to Lucy for the you hear me. <laughs> for real. You hear me. <laughs> no. Oh, we missed y'all yesterday, man. We one day late, but we gonna make it up to you, I promise. Um, Delaware, man. It was a little bit of a rough stop for us, man, but, but thanks to a very, very special guy, um, you know, we really enjoyed ourselves, and uh, it really set the tone for the rest of the tour, honestly. I'm just in really good spirits. I just feel really good. Um, I don't know, the vibes and the energy, everything's, like, correlating right now. That's a real loud motorcycle right there. Who is that? Why else we can see you, though? Did he speak? It wasn't pleasant. What did he say? Yeah. What did he say? Because I don't Nodded like that. him and her nodded their head. Oh, they said, what's up? It's probably really loud on their bike, though, to get them the benefit of the doubt. Um, you know? So it was a little nasty hello. And that's okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, I was about to get upset, but I was. But thinking about it, like, you know, everybody. And I just said how our vibe and our energy, we're just so happy and pleasant. Everybody's not there. You know, and we gotta be okay with that. You know, I guess that's a lesson for real. Like, everybody just not there yet, man. They got long. They Joy got, unto you. That's what you say to me. <laughs> Joy unto you. <laughs> What's up with y'all? Just checking our lashes. I've never done it in the car while driving. Oh, getting, she get getting good. good. <laughs> little got a little lash lotion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all listen, for Let's real. Let's get into this recap. Right, week recap. That's what this is about. <laughs> <laughs> um, dang. So, um, Sunday after our festival, we found housing after not finding any since we've been here. But we talked to them Sunday. We was at the house Sunday when we talked to them. True. Well, Monday. Yeah. Monday, we Oh, that was the first day of our pop-up show. Five, yes. So, our first pop-up was Firefly Festival. The cleanup. We did not go to Firefly, y'all. We can't. First of all, we cannot afford that. That's number one. <laughs> let's be. Let's be very honest here, okay? <laughs> they looked like they had a great time, though. So we volunteered through um, a local church, and we went. And the things that we saw. I mean, if you guys saw Maturation Monday last week, you know. In half a mile. It was great. It felt good to be out there helping the environment helping other people, knowing that those things are going to go to people that really need it um, in either the country and in the country. Because my main concern is we, we need to help our people. Even though, you know, people in other countries are struggling, but there's people right here that would appreciate a tent. They would appreciate some sleeping bags. You hear me? You hear me? <laughs> Turn left on stage. So that was amazing. What else did we do? Monday. Um... Yeah, we need to look look at the look it back a little bit. Ah! Excuse me. I'm okay. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, but that Five for Life Festival was really an eye opener for me in, in terms of like the waste that we produce in this country, um, and, and how we we don't innately think of other people. Um, it's really we're really selfish individuals in this country. I don't know what really bred that, um, but. But it's a, 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 a huge, vast majority of us. Continue straight. Seven minutes, exit 136, State Route 299 to US 13, Odessa, Middletown. You know, the value of things. You don't appreciate uh, people who, who have nothing. Don't think about it, you know? So that was definitely an eye opener. Um, kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. <laughs> We some, we, we some of the people that's without, and so to see all this stuff, I mean expensive stuff too. Y'all saw the tent, video? Y'all. We got a tent. Yeah, get a tent. I don't really know how sturdy. Police reported that. Oh, how secure, secure <laughs> the tent will be. But the first time we go camping, we definitely gonna let y'all know. We definitely gonna show y'all what's up. Tuesday. What we do? Um, Tuesday was. 
But that was at the that Tuesday was hopeful recovery at six. We went to the fire station. I'm sorry. Every time I um my screen power out it goes back no. It's not on nothing to do my camera. <laughs> I wonder why. No, it was. Oh. Oh it go away. Oh I'm sorry, I I found it. Did we I, go to the I found it. Alright. So we went to the VA. Oh, Tuesday we went to the VA. Met a very, uh, very nice uh, lady, Karen Favors. Um, sweet, sweet lady. She definitely uh, hooked us up with a lot of resources in Delaware. I mean, right on the spot. I love that. That is, that is like the best feeling, right? Man, it, it's funny because it always happens like towards the end of our visit in the state. Like people just come I, out like, "Where have you guys been? been? Where have uh -huh. you been? We've been here." <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to connect with people, man. Like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we should do pop-ups earlier. I don't know. Pop-up, pre-pop-ups. Pop-up to the pop-up before we pop-up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can afford that. But she connect us, connected us to the resource shark who gave us a lovely tour. The mayor. <laughs> the mayor of, of, of the Nasty New. Nasty New! So that's like the name of a, um, a street out here. It's called New Street. Um, and, you know, it's a little, it's a little impoverished area with a lot of us. People that feel like they're forgotten. So we were able to get out and like we we've, we've been going through this neighborhood. We've been trying to find ways to insert ourselves. And we just it was tough. It's hard, and they black people they don't even look welcome. Man. They don't, <laughs> I'm I'm not, I'm not a punk. But I wasn't getting out the car. <laughs> <laughs> so we got somebody to take us there, meet us, and allow us to meet the people. And, yeah. You know, it's a lot of people that the drugs is killing our people. Shout out to Denise too. Thank you. Yes, the drugs is really killing our people. They call it the two, the K, K whatever. Two. But got heroin out there. And drugs been around for a while, but like, at what point do we pause and say like, how can I help my community? It's this church on this corner, and this pastor owns all of these houses. Like, when are we going to say, okay, we going to wake up every morning and just wash our people in the corner every day? No. It's people out there with felonies. I have a felony, so I know how it feels to, you know, try to transition back into society and not have the platform or the resources or even the help. So, if that's not available, then if, you don't, if you're not really strong-minded, then you need, you're going to have difficulties and you kind of stay stagnant in your environment and I feel like that's what they yeah. want yeah they want some opportunities they that they, they said it themselves so when you want to meet the needs of the people you go to the people and you ask them like what do you want what do you need and how can I help you may not be able to do it overnight but just the the thought the gesture I feel like yeah, was, they, they definitely appreciate even the conversation that we had uh, so again thank you Denise for Introducing us to all the beautiful people who are nasty. We ain't gonna never forget y'all, man. We coming back for y'all. I'm serious. Coming back. Yeah, so um, later that night, we um, enrolled in the Three Hope for Recovery. It's some, I would say it's similar to a mental health first aid training, but um, it was a group therapy session. Yeah, it, it turned into a group therapy session. Which is cool. Session. Group therapy is fine with me. We just got to talk and dive in a little deeper refresh we would always want to say um abreast on our knowledge so we go to a lot of training sometimes we do them over and over again yeah. just for the experience you know every time it will be different like we connect with so many different people in that space so um i'm very grateful for that yeah man i mean we might as well just go ahead and get our counseling degrees honestly hello you and me <laughs> you and me <laughs> So Wednesday was the um, we went to the fire department. Oh, that was Friday. Yeah, um, we got to see some retired firefighters. <laughs> it's cool. It's all about like the conversation, the gesture. They knew what we was trying to do. Um, and it's nice to know that they already um, do self care. So this guy who's retired, he comes every Wednesday and he pulls out the grill and he's cooking up something and all the firefighters get to come and the ambulance I saw. Did we see the ladies on the ambulance? Yes. Saw the ladies on the ambulance. 
So he feeds them. That's his way of giving back. He likes fishing, things of that nature. Like I love hearing people that already have some sort of self-care regimen to say that, okay, this is what I do when I'm just not feeling it. This is my go-to. I've heard you ask a couple people that question, and they don't they don't always give uh, an appropriate response. Not saying like, not even talking about like anything inappropriate. I'm talking about in terms of even knowing what self care is for themselves. You know what I mean? They be saying stuff like, "Well, I, I um, yeah, I go to, I go to yeah, stuff something that's <laughs> normal. I, I go, go to the grocery church. store. I mean, but it's still in one mile." But you can tell when somebody really doesn't know the meaning uh, behind self-care. You can tell when you ask that question. <laughs> and then we had another training with um, Hope for Recovery again that night. It was a three-day training. So Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we was at Hope for Recovery. Through um, BBH? Uh, it's actually through NAMI. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's uh, NAMI. Delaware and NAMI. Yeah. NAMI of Delaware. Uh, Thursday. We went to the police station. That was such a dry experience. I felt like a criminal. Yes. It's like this thick glass. Don't get me wrong. I know that they have to um, protect themselves. They gotta protect themselves. Yeah. It was kind of a trigger for me. Mm. Like the exit right to us. No different. <laughs> like the, if we weren't hanging Then state to the right to state route 299 East Odessa. Let's try to spread some love. You know, we drop off our little gifts. That's what we do at these pop-up shops, you know. We dropping off uh, little trinkets to, to remind people to, to, to stay mentally well, especially in those traumatic uh, occupations. So that's part of the reason why our pop-ups are full. Loving on some people that don't get that much love, especially pop -ups. state to the right to Let's not talk about it right now. No, I was just saying. No, no, I was. I read a text message. I just read a text message, and that was the reason for my response. I'm not gonna say anything. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Who are y'all? We good. Um. So, Cedric is about to read it. We'll see her response. No, I'm not reading. In half a mile. Um. So, again, that. Thursday? Yes. Thursday night was the last night of our training, Three Hope for Recovery. We met some beautiful people in there, man. Yes, Jay. Oh, big shout out to Jay. Yes. Jay, Jay works in New Jersey, and he knew that that was our next stop, and so he went in 1,000 feet. To make sure that he connected us with some resources. He brought a binder to class. Man, hey, Jay, thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you, Jay. Jay Silver, my man. Yes. Very knowledgeable, man. Oh, so um, smart. He's a doctor. He's so smart. And he's a vet, and he understands, you know, the things that he saw and how that has affected our veterans. So yeah. that's his That's his outreach. That's his... Turn left on you. I love that, man. I love that. Um, so Friday. Mm. Friday, we got to go to the Capitol Green housing, um, which is... Continue straight... Where it's also a nonprofit like us, so there's people there that volunteer their time just because they know the need and they felt, I don't really know her name, but she felt as though mental health was that piece that was missing. So she was very thankful to have us and we were able to do our, um, Lenita, our joy workshop with the children in the neighborhood. And it was amazing. Their creative expression. Beautiful, man. Love that. <laughs> I love it. Yes. And listen, y'all, this is the first time we really did um we actually did kindergarten through like fourth grade, fourth or fifth grade this time. Um it was it was a different experience. Um and you would think that I would I would be okay with that, but it was different. Uh but they loved it. We loved it even more. <laughs> and so uh we're comfortable with adding that part of our, our workshop. 